Yeah, and they've absolutely deserved it. Dominant in every area. They've matched them up front, which was the starting point. Stop the big men carrying the ball. Stop them generating momentum. The Jacques Dinarber blitz defence did its part, but uh, in attack, Leicester absolutely superb. And just to uh, correct the impression we may have given you, it's uh, Leicester in Crow Park against the winners of Northampton and the Bulls. So, what a game that'll be. Winners of Northampton and the Bulls. What a game from Joe McCarthy. Ross Burnman in the match as well for the entire pack as well. Stood up and counted, and Donald, I think there was a lot of hurt and a lot of anger in his dance performance, as well as being as clinical as they were. Of course, there was. There was four years of hurt. I mean, you lose a, you lose it. Investec Champions Cup final last year, having been 17 points up after 12 minutes. You lose it on this very pitch in your backyard. You lose it, Marseille, the year before, with a, a try, four points ahead going into the last minute, and they lose it. That's hurt. Uh, you're going to get a reaction, and they got that reaction today, and they were full value for that 27-point win. Well, mutual show of respect all round. Ulton Delan, former Connacht player, of course. What a game he had as well, particularly early on, caused a lot of problems in the line out for Leinster and in the loose as well. But this Leinster team were not for turning today. They were gritty and determined and resolute in everything they did. A well-deserved victory for the home side. Leinster 40, La Rochelle 13, the full-time score. Hugh, Donald, thank you. They certainly were all of that, Fiona. We waited all year for a performance like this from Leinster, and boy, did we get it today. What a display. It was dominant, it was ruthless. We said players had to take ownership to a man. They all stood up today. We need players eight, eight or nine on a rating, and I just thought they were unbelievable across the park. And you look there at the end, the subs that came on, making impact, but a phenomenal performance, technically, tactically, and emotionally. They just got it so right, Jamie, you know. From the word go, Leinster were just on the money today. From the first couple of minutes, you saw some absolutely massive hits by uh, by Ty there, putting their big ball players back uh, <laughs> back behind the gain line, and that set the intent for the day. And then they followed up. And they were consistent. They they did it for the full 80 minutes, which they had to do. And um, they're ruthless. They were. Um, they, they, <laughs> They just did not let them have the ball and did not let them play. Like uh, You could probably count on one hand the amount of times La Rochelle actually got inside Leinster 22. Yeah, a lot of that was down to so many brilliant performances by Leinster today. None more so than Ross Byrne. He's the player of the match and he's with Damien. Ross, congratulations. All of that has been achieved by this group of players in the last couple of years in this province. How big a win have we just witnessed in terms of maybe a niche that needed to be scratched by Leinster? Yeah, it was obviously uh, the most pleasing thing today. Like, obviously, we got the win, but I think it was the performance. Um, that's what we spoke about a lot during the week, you know what I mean? Focused on ourselves, and we're just delighted we delivered on that. That first half performance as well is just so important to keep the scoreboard ticking over against the side that you know can come back. But that try early in the second half just really defined the whole thing. Yeah, that was huge. Um, like, obviously, they scored just before half time, but we were nice and calm at half time, you know what I mean? Stuck to our plan. Um, and it was great to obviously come out second half and get an early score. From a personal point of view, I don't know what visualisation or mental preparation you go through, but do you go into a game like today knowing the radar is tuned in to the extent that it was? Uh, judging by the warm-up, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, look, obviously you just do your prep during the week and that's all you can do and then hopefully they go over. The point was made that it was almost like a coming-of-age performance for you. Like, we all know the pressure that's been on to cement this number 10 position. How much work have you put into trying to put yourself in to be the first choice and be the, the man around which this team can be built? Look, to be honest, for me, it's just trying to get the best out of the team, you know what I mean? That's my role, trying to drive on the lads and trying to execute the plan the best I can. And Look, today it went well and we got a win, but a couple of big weeks coming up. Congratulations, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Ross, thanks. Uh, Caelan Doris is with, alongside us, Leinster captain. Congratulations, Caelan. We're just discussing their really significant win. It feels almost like a statement win from Leinster today. It's a great feeling. We've had some incredible battles against these guys over the last number of years. We have so much respect for them as a team. There's a great rivalry that's been built against them and we knew we'd need to be at our best. We felt last week we were a bit off and it was a great week of training, a great week of prep. We knew the threats they posed, but there was a lot of backing ourselves and uh, bringing our uniqueness as individuals and as a team. And I felt we did that for large portions and to keep them to 13 and put a score like that on a team of that quality, uh, very, very pleasing. As odd as it might sound, is it nearly a weight off your collective shoulders to get that win, a knockout win over La Rochelle? It's a little bit of a monkey off the back in a way, I think, but at the same time, the belief has always been there. 
there's such belief in the coaching staff, in the group of players we have and what we're all about. So uh, we've been knocking on the door and yeah, we finally got the result against them today, but we know it's only quarterfinal stages and silverware is the ultimate goal for us as a group. So there's still some big weeks to go, but it, it's a great feeling. Listen, there's fellas around Mayo grow up dreaming of playing with a, a different discipline in Crow Park. You packed this place with 51,000 at relatively short notice. The prospect of a, a rare trip over to the north side. What, what, like, how significant can that be as a, a venue to play in for this group of players and the crowd that you most likely will draw? The thought of it is incredibly exciting. With this week, we haven't thought too much about the future because we knew it was such a big obstacle we had to overcome first, but now it's something we can look forward to and get excitement from and hopefully pack it out because the, the 51 or so thousand we had here today makes such a difference. The atmosphere was unbelievable. It was test match intensity and we want more of that in Crow Park. Enjoy the celebration. Thank you. Cheers. A massive monkey off the bat, but they've still got two more games to go if they're going to win this thing. Next stop, Crow Park for the semi-finals. Plenty.